What's up, y'all? Let's go to the movies. Today we are seeing the Godzilla movie. I'm kind of nervous because this movie is subtitled, and I don't, I don't like subtitles. And on top of that, it's Japanese. I've never studied Japanese. I feel like if it's a foreign language, foreign to you, and you've studied it, it's easier to hear the words and the sentence structure. But when you are listening to a language and you've never heard it before, it sounds like noise. I've heard great things, and I love Godzilla. I used to love the Godzilla movies when I was little. So let's go. Let's talk about it. So that was Godzilla Minus One, directed by Takashi Yamazaki, starring a whole bunch of people, but I I'm not even going to try. I will butcher their names. That was excellent. I am so glad I saw that. That had everything, a little comedy, a little drama, had me tearing up. This is what a monster movie is supposed to be, okay? We're supposed to have, you know, the big monster or whatever, and then, you know, this, this, this human story that kind of weighs us down so that when big things happen, we feel this kind of... <sighs> so this is a kaiju movie. Kaiju is like... It's Japanese monster movies, basically. I don't know why I was so nervous. I don't give myself enough credit. When you're listening to a language that you've never studied, so you don't know the grammar, vocabulary, sentence structure, and all that jazz, it can sound like one long continuous noise because you can't hear the words. So it's just, it's sound that's just almost nonstop. That's what Spanish sounded like to me before I took a Spanish class. But then once I took a Spanish class and learned some things, when I hear people speak Spanish, I can hear the words. Does that make sense? So for me, Japanese, it's a beautiful language. It sounds so pretty. It, it has this kind of sing song sound to me, but I can't pick out the words. I can't hear the individual words and it frustrates me, which is one of the reasons why I don't like watching foreign language films because I get very distracted by what I cannot hear. Does that make sense? And then on top of that, you want me to read? I would rather watch a foreign language film dubbed, but at the same time, I want to watch the movie as it was intended to be seen. But anywho, Japanese cinema in general is something else. It's always been next level. So this is the end of World War II, right? We're in Japan, They things did not end well for the Japanese, and you can see that in the photography, the way color is kind of sucked out of every frame. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I would love to hear from someone who is Japanese and has seen this movie, what, many of the themes mean to them within the context of their culture because sitting over here you know in louisiana usa this is about family it's about love it's about forgiveness and then you have this monster godzilla um who is very real in this world obviously but also serves as a metaphor this david fighting his goliath I used to watch Godzilla movies all the time when I was little. I love Godzilla. Even that 1998 Roland Emmerich film that like nobody likes, the one with Matthew Broderick. Yeah, I love that thing. Even with the recent, you know, Godzilla movies that have come out, the American films, I would have to say this is probably the best entry into the Godzilla franchise that I have seen. And like I said about a week ago, we're all tired of the remakes, the reboots, the requels, the franchise films, but this, this, this serves. This serves. That was so freaking good. I feel like I could watch this again without the subtitles and just vibe with it. This feels kind of old school and nostalgic. They don't make movies like this anymore. It's so sad, but that was brilliant. If this doesn't get nominated for something, I'm going to be highly upset. This deserves it. It absolutely deserves it. 